Hi, I'm Gladys, and today we're going to assemble the Elite Slumber Time Crib. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware, and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come in the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the back of the crib. And for this, you will need four 75mm bolts, two 55mm bolts, four barrel nuts, and the provided Allen wrench. Don't forget to use the labels as guidance. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. The barrel nut will go behind the back of the crib and you should put it sideways so the bolt can go through. And that's it. <laughs> the second step is to attach the sides to the back of the crib. And for this, you will need six 55 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. The bolts are gonna go through from behind the back of the crib. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The third step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The final step is to attach the front of the crib. And for this, you will need six 45 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. The bolts will go in from the back. Use the short set of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. Put the instructions back in the pouch that came in. You're going to need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Elite Slumber Time Crib. A day bed conversion reel is included. Toddler guard reels and bed conversion reels are available for purchase.